Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Today, let's go ahead and get on this elevator over here. Okay. Well. What do you mean, though? Wait a minute. What do you mean? Are Irvine, Renoa, and Quistus heavier than Squall, Zell, and Selfie? The more you know, I guess. Alright, well, shit. This throws a wrench into my plans. Yeah. This throws a big wrench into my plans. So let's go ahead and change party members, I guess. Um, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean the other party has to be in the same area? They're right here! Do you want us to hug ya? Okay. Well. Alright. Sure. Okay. I guess we can do this for right now. I mean, we don't have to switch back everything. So, we're gonna wanna leave the ladies down here. And now we need to go all the way ba back. <laughs> we need to go all the way back to the very beginning. Because, uh, reasons. Wait. How do I get back? Is it this way? No, no, no. I gotta go back to where we came from. Yes, which is this way to the right. Okay. God dang it. Okay. That's fine. I have to make this trip twice, because, uh... Generally speaking, I would have only had to make this trip once before. That kind of stinks, but whatever. It's fine. There you go. And then we switch to the other party. The, the Charlie's Angels, I guess you want to call them. Uh, so, you get that. No. There we go. And then you... Have that. Um, formation? There you go. I think you're the one with Squall's stuff, right? Yes. Sure, and I guess Renoa's gonna be the, uh, the support. I should probably heal up, you're right. Let's go ahead and use that. For right now, just a little bit, right? Alright, let's see. Let's grab this. It's a Kiraga. Renoa, go ahead and grab that. Woo. Grab this. This is the Floodgate key. That's the only reason we came in here. I know. I know. So, I guess we can switch parties now. Get off here so they can come falling down. Because we couldn't do it any other way. And then... I mean, I guess I can keep this party and go back. Sure. Why not? Zell can be support. For now, anyways. Uh, yeah. Now we can go all the way back to that floodgate area. Don't need to do that. Gotta, gotta, gotta make this trip two times, unfortunately. Which is just... No bueno, really. Now let's go down here. At the very least, we'll be able to go through that area in the cathedral now. That, that, that doorway. And grab that, use the floodgates. You'll notice that nothing actually happened, because you gotta go over here and pull this lever. There you go. Alright, now, let's head all the way back to the entrance. A lot of back and forth. 
There's definitely a lot of back and forth in this dungeon. I like the premise with your abilities getting uh, sealed like this, but I believe, I don't know. I think it's because the game is kind of either too hard or too easy that it's, it, in most cases, it's too easy for most players. But I think because of that, it doesn't really jive too well because it's like, oh, you can't use your abilities. What do you mean you've only been using the basic attack throughout the entirety of the game? Oh. So yeah, now... <laughs> we'll come down here and... <laughs> freaking Zell faceplants, which is hilarious. Now there should be something over here that we can press. And we that, that makes it so that the uh, chandelier just will not fall anymore. Let's go ahead and switch everything again. I actually have no idea who's support anymore. <laughs> I have no idea who's support anymore. Now we want to head all the way to the beginning. And through the door. And we should be able to cross the chandelier with no problem now because we deactivated the switch on the the lower section. I should probably definitely heal though, right? Up here, here, here. There you go. Through the door. And this guy, what is what's in the drop one? Meteor? Sure, Quisis can have some meteor sh why not? Get five? That's it? Uh, this dude would have Carbuncle, and I believe it casts Ultima when it dies. But, show me what you got! You'll regret fighting me! Though, it's not really that big of an issue. Oh, wait, are you... Oh, your selfie's the, the support. Probably should keep a tab on that, right, because of the whole med data stuff? But oh well. Ooh, hey, damage. Good for you. So that's going to be your counter each time. Ah, I probably should not have selfie attack. Revive's good because it saves, like, potions, not potions, but, like, Phoenix Downs. Oh, it's dead already? All right, Jesus Christ. This shouldn't kill me. He says... With clenched butch cheeks. Yeah, okay. Not that much damage. Uh, a mega potion can cure that right up in combat. I like the way that guy dissolves, though. What else can we get now? What else is there? Elmgard! Hey, that will come in handy for uh, someone. Uh, GF or Limit Break? I guess Limit Break. Uh, who doesn't have the Elm Guard? You don't. Okay. So what GF do I want to give that to? Let's give it to... I don't think... Siren, maybe? I think she has some room. That's not Siren. Yeah, let's give it to Siren. And that way we can have some elemental defenses for... Uh, our support. And status attack. We don't need status attack. Alright, let's come over here. We'll just put support on the bottom so I remember where the hell they are. I mean, that's not a bad thing to have there. I mean, like, that's actually a lot. <laughs> that's actually a fair amount there. I mean... Alright, you know, I'll put it there. Why not? I, I'm not using it anywhere else. Huh. All right. Let's go ahead and I believe we want to. Ah, oh, but is that the party I want to do that battle with? I haven't really gone over it, but uh, ever since she became a sorceress, you could do this on um, the. Wait a minute. Where the hell is it? Yeah, that's fine. She has another limit break, but apparently you can't see it here. Um, 
where she grows wings and she she will cast magic. So if you only have like one off- like offensive magic, she only casts magic offensive magic when she's in this uh this limit break state of hers. So if you only have like say meteor in her her pool of magic, she'll just constantly use that. I was thinking about showing that off, but I don't know if this is either party is the one I want to go into the next battle with. I mean, it would definitely be a lot worse, that's for sure. I would have to switch over some stuff as well. Uh, yeah, before we do that, though, I mean, I guess we can just fight it with Squall's group. Sure. Why not? I mean, you can fight it with any group, really. So get in here, let's go ahead and switch parties. And I will definitely go ahead and switch everything. Alright, let's go ahead and go through the center door here. Let's lead us here. As you can see, the fountain no longer has any uh, water in it. So if we come down here, we can now go down this little area all the way to the bottom and get this. A Rosetta Stone! What's down here? Oh! Huh, I didn't know that looped around like that. That's cool. Alright, let's go back here. And... Yeah, we'll go up first. Up to the, the top before we uh, try that other fight. Oh, we should probably check out that Rosetta Stone too, right? So who has four abilities already? Not you. Well, that was an easy deduction there. Yeah, okay, so what GF do I want to give four abilities to? I mean Shiva. We gotta give it to Shiva. Shiva's amazing. She has the room for it too. Okay. Let's go ahead to Rosetta Stone. And then Shiva. There you go. Uh, let's see. I think I have enough AP ammo too. Yeah, I got 56. That's more than enough. Uh, well, we can't even use that right now. We'll, we'll use that next time then. I mean, it's the only one we have left to unlock. Uh, sure, I'll save here. Why not? It's been a while. I mean, has it been a while? It's been like 13 minutes. I guess that's a while. Now, we want to go all the way to the top of this place. And, well, not all the way to the top. We want to come up to uh, this little ledge up here see that door on that side. We want to get on this bell. Right here? Yeah. Thankfully it's not timed like the Final Fantasy 7 one. <laughs> that one can always be a little bit irritating. And we got this bad Larry over here. This is pretty cool looking. This Tiamat. Now this one's kind of a timed one as well. Uh, it would have Eden on it if you didn't get it already. Yeah, if you take too long, you eventually get hit with, I believe, Dark Flare. So, you know, don't take your time. Yeah, see, it starts spelling out Dark Flare. Sh it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Huh. Melton, like, Meltdown hit right away. Sick. Yeah, sure, get on, on that. Oh, I missed the crit because of you, Zell. Like, there's no reason for you to attack. You do, like, a percent of what everyone else does. If you want to make this faster, you can go ahead and cast Aura on someone. Pretty sure a couple of shots from AP ammo would kill this thing pretty fast. Not to mention Squall's Limit Break and Lionheart, which we haven't seen yet, so hopefully we will see it shortly. Whoa, all right. So that's the last quote unquote special boss of the area. We get status guard, which we can give that to Shiva as well, why not? And we'll unlock GF and it's the last ability that we had. So yeah, let's go ahead and I think, yeah, you didn't have 
with that, right? No, you did. Who doesn't have the status guards? Oh, it's good thing I checked that. We'll give it to Siren, then. You should still have spots for that, yeah? Yeah, alright. Status guard to Siren. Alright, and then we can go ahead and set him up so that... I mean, to be fair, there's not many other things in this game that are going to be able to do this sort of stuff. A Berserk. And do you not have death on you? You don't have death on you. Really? Really? Why wouldn't you have death on you? Yeah, uh, that's weird. Why wouldn't you have death on you? I thought I could put death on everyone. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We don't get hit by death magic all that often, but still. A little annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We're gonna go back down, and I'm gonna save, and we're gonna fight a, uh, completely optional, uh, boss. And I am gonna do a little bit of setup. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Uh, what are you talking about, Cronus? Well... I mean, there's, like, a way to... Okay, you can get max health pretty easily in this game. So let me just go ahead and show it off a little bit, I guess. Uh, this is not what we need. We need the S-Star Pet Shop. And then we need the Giant's Ring. Okay. I actually need nine, uh, ten of these, so let's get nine there. Alright, so next we want to go to... Uh... Do, 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 do. Is it this one? Yeah, to get a Gaia's Ring. I already had two of them. Nice. And then... The Forbidden Magic? Yeah, it's Forbidden Magic, which is... Actually... It's forbidden Medicine, yeah, sorry. Gaia ring. So, ten giant rings equals one HP up. I got two of these, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now, an HP up, let's see, over here. Feel like I already had some HP ups. I did not. Oh, well, right here. I think, what, how much does it increase by? By ten. So, if I wanted to. I could stick here and get up to 9,999 HP. I mean, it's possible, but it would take a lot of grinding and money, and all honesty, I don't think it's worth that. So I'm gonna have to do... Like, um... Like, HP percent ups. But I, I gotta figure out how, what sort of... Yeah, that will have to do. What sort of uh, combinations will will work? Oh, maximum HP. I get the maximum HP achievement from doing just that. All right, I'm gonna finish my setup and I'll be right back. All right. So my setup should be good to go. Uh, I get defend on Zell. I got med data HP 80%. So he has that 9,999. This is what Squall looks like. He didn't have 80% in terms of uh, HP percent up, but that's good enough right now. And this is Irvine. I guess we don't need alert right now, right? And we could do med data on you as well. Auto potion? Maybe. I'm not sure if that would do anything, but it's worth a shot. You also have defend on as well. Okay, let us go and try this out. Uh, yeah, that save point's gone because I don't have uh, move find on. It's kind of why I always have move find on, right? Uh, switch to other party. No, 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 no. Let's go and grab this real fast. Alright. So, here, roar. Don't switch your junctions over. You, you don't have time. Really. Uh, switch to the other party. Alright. Alright. Here we go. In we go. 
Oh, god damn it. I really don't have time to be doing this. Rearrange manual. Uh meltdown. There you go. So I don't have to go looking too far for it. Uh, I need to get Aura on Irvine and Squall. So, what we need to remember is after this dog does... You don't have Aura. You need to use a stone. After this dog does Meteo, uh, Meteor, we need to uh, heal up completely, pretty much. Because the next attack he's going to do is going to cause 9,998 damage. Leave you at one. Hey, right off the bat. I like that. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Mega Potion as well. Oh. Line art? Aw. Oh. We don't need Meltdown for AP ammo. We need Meltdown for uh, Squall. Because APM was always going to hit. I'm a little sad that you only have three turns in there. I'll do another. I'll just keep healing with the Mega Potion after this. Uh, sure, another Mega Potion. Do that. With our immunity to death, this is not a problem. I'm really hoping, not blasting on, I was really hoping for a goddamn Lionheart there. So yeah, after he hits uh, Megido Flame, which is the 9,998 damage one, Mega Elixir, and then when he does like a Gravity G, Gravity G, whatever the hell it's called, uh, you want to also defend because the next one's going to kill you. The squall will die <laughs> when that happens. Um, meteor. Sure. We should have plenty of time. God, I, I remember Aura being so much better than that. I mean, it's still broken. If you really want to he have an e easy time with this, use Holy War. I missed. I missed. I missed. I hit once. I hit once. I hit once? Uh, well, he's dead. So this is what we'll do. We'll use Phoenix Down on Irvine. You will use Mega Elixir. Oh, and then Aura is no longer here. That's fine. You get Aura now. And then you get Aura. And then you attack. I don't know how much health this guy has left. Uh, in the original PlayStation 1 version of the game, he scaled. In this one, not so much. Try to get another AP shot. Uh, and then we're going to have to def defend? Oh, you use a goddamn elixir. Auto potion used an elixir, huh? I'm, I'm failing these triggers horribly. I need to defend, like, now. Defend. I did not mean to actually... I did not mean to actually I thought I was I thought I was on Irvine there. 
Apparently, uh, Zell's about to show up his limit break here. Oh, but he's dead. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, the next move after Megiddo, uh, Megiddo, yeah, it's Megiddo Flame, that's not a basic attack, was gonna be, like, Terror Break, which, uh, kills you, unless you defend, or kill him before he actually has a chance to do that. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, Omega destroyed. Go us. We get three stars, which is... I mean, okay, you can transmute it back into frickin'... Whatever. Like, triples. So that's cool, I guess. But at the same time, with these dope rhymes, we don't really need that right now. Um... Yeah, you don't need that. So I guess move to find for this save point. And I guess that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you get my video second? Check out some of the content. See if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.